Hey everyone, I want to show you a simple way to stack your hydroponic systems vertically and to grow a lot of produce in a small space. I have two identical rail systems here that I built. They're fairly easy to build and set up and maintain, so I really like them for that. But as for how I set them up vertically, this is a wire rack that you can buy. And I really like these because you can adjust the height of the shelves fairly simply. And then they also are really easy to hang lights from. So in this case, I have some LED grow light tubes here. And these are fairly cheap, around $12 each, I think, last time I checked. And you can just zip tie them right up to the, to the shelf above. And then they take up almost no vertical space. So here, I've got these three. They're up just about flush up against the shelf above, right underneath my other system. So here I've I fit two two rail systems fairly easily in this space, and then I have the reservoirs underneath. These shelves are 18 inches wide, which gives plenty of room for a two rail system with a little bit of extra for the plants to grow. And then they're four feet long. So the rail systems are 50 inches long, but they hang over just a little bit, and that works great. So the 18 inch by 48 inch wire rack works really well. And then this one is six feet tall. In this case, I have two separate systems. So they're each connected to a different reservoir. And that's mostly so that I can do some testing. So right now I'm comparing um, doing an aerated system for, versus a non-aerated system. I might do some other tests too. So this is nice to have separate reservoirs so that I can test two different things and keep as many factors the same as possible. But if you really wanted to simplify this, what you could do is put one larger reservoir underneath and then have the water pump up into the top system like I have it here and then where it drops back down on the exit you could have it exit and drop right into the the rail below so then it could enter here and then go down and back and then drain out of the lower system so that way you only have one pump and you only have one reservoir and you're feeding two levels so that'd probably be the simplest way to go each of these systems gives me about four heads of lettuce per week. So I'm getting a total of eight heads of lettuce per week. If you really wanted to maximize production, you could add a third level. So what I would do there is put a level fairly close to the light on top. And that's where you'd grow all of your seedlings and small plants. And then you'd have two levels kind of like we have here that have a bigger spacing to give more room for adult plants. So your rail systems wouldn't all be the same like I have here. You'd have one for small plants and then two for larger plants. But then that would give you um, enough room for getting 12 heads of lettuce per week. And all of that in an area that takes up about six square feet of floor space. So I'd say that'd be pretty good productivity. If you're interested in setting up something like this, I have a lot of info about how to do that on my website. There's been lots of people who have used it and have successfully built systems and grown a lot of produce. So go check that out if you're interested in learning more. And thanks for watching.